Shout out to cancelbadcredit.com. What's up? What, what, what's up with all the name changes? And what's the reason behind them? What? Tell me first. What, what was the reason behind the name King Tut? It's like you uh, probably got conscious around it or something. Oh, uh, King Tut, man. That was the original name, but you know, it was like <clears throat> shit. The tattoos on my face. Every time a nigga did some hot shit, nigga had to add a tattoo. So every time I did some hot shit, I switched my name. <laughs> uh, uh, and this name, a clean name. You know, but once they see the face, they gonna be like that fucker. You feel me? <laughs> so the name changes ain't even really related to rap. It's just related to you know. Yeah, yeah. I want to get that stigma up off me. Yeah, yeah. But this name, I'm sticking with it. You know, yeah. I was the name came about Chapo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With so much infamous stuff in your past, whether true or not, is it a burden every day to live with that? Fuck yeah, man. Like I said, you don't want to live with this shit, man. You know, you gotta have a strong mind, dog. You know, some niggas, man, that's out here right now that can't even, you know, think straight with the death of one body on their hands. You know, that's real shit. You know, you gotta have a strong fucking mind, bro. You know, this shit, and they flip the fuck out. You know, who wanna be, you know, shit. <laughs> don't nobody want that shit on their hands, man. What what year did you get the five point star on your face, and why? No comment, man. I don't know, man. Some strange shit, you know. I told everybody, go, you know, comment. <laughs> mm -mm. I dig that. Okay, okay. Growing up on the craft and and having the reputation you have, you feel like you still gotta live that shit every time you go back to the hood, every time you be around somebody. Do they, oh. do people expect you to be a certain way? Okay, yeah, now, I'm glad you asked that question. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, they do really do expect me to be crazy, still, you know what I'm <laughs> But it fucks them up when I be calm and cool, you feel me? Cause that's how you gotta play it, man. And I'm glad things, like I said, now that I think about it, I say that I change it. I wouldn't change it because I learned a lot through this whole roller coaster. It's been a hell of a roller coaster. And I could I wouldn't change if I was to change it, then I'd just be a nerd living a good life. So I guess God wanted me to take this trip down this motherfucker before me, you know, because the nerd would have probably just got money and I probably wouldn't have never been friend. My friend would probably would you probably wouldn't even been here. You know? right. <laughs> I'd probably be friends with some white boys and some shit, you know. So everything happened for a reason, yeah. Was, was the five on your face? Was that the first tattoo? Mm -hmm. On your face, excuse me, on your face. Teardrops. Teardrops? Yeah, I got my teardrops on the wrong side of my stupid ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I got sent to prison, the Mexicans was laughing at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what they tell you about teardrops? They kept saying, Migo, wrong side, wrong side, Migo. Wrong side. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I was scared to go in that unit. It was my first time. So many, I was the only black guy. Shit, who the fuck? They know Spanish. I don't know. It's like they hold secrets. Shit, fuck that. Hell no. Mm -hmm. no. They could be saying anything, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. But they was cool, though. They was cool. <laughs> it's just that I was the, it was the fear that they, I don't understand what they saying, you know? Yeah. yeah. Would you still put a test on your face and hands, right? Mm -hmm. If I could go back, I'd put only one tattoo on my face. That'd be my baby mama that died uh, up here, so like, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, what was the thoughts behind going to your first tattoo on the face? Because I, I know when yeah. I seen it, I'm like, damn. I didn't have no tattoos on my motherfucking body. I only had them on my, I started straight on my face first. Yeah, my grandma, man, crazy ass, man. She kept saying, I dare you, and all that dumb shit. I said, I'm going to get a tattoo. You know, I, I kept saying, I get a tattoo on my face. She said, I dare you. And I went and did it. And ever since then, I kept doing it. Okay, okay. Yeah. It, it, it probably took some, when, when you put it on your face, you're like, this is the life, this is it. You know, the first tattoo was a teardrop, you know, and that meant something to me, so shit. Yeah, so I had to, you know. As far as the, the, the rumors, is, is that hard to deal with? Because like I said, I was in a prison yard, people quoting your lyrics, putting dates and times on it, and this around the time Killer Slam did this, he did that. They was trying to make me say like I was the bad guy. You know, that's why yeah. That's why it all goes back to what I was telling you. You know, the media, the streets, are portrayed me like I was this evil motherfucker, you know, back then. Like I say, everything, every person have 
Hey, if I hit you right now, boom, find you. You go find me back. You got a reaction. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, it wasn't just like I was just running around with, 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 my, with my head cut off. You feel me? You know, shit was being happened to me. I grew up in a fucked up environment where niggas was coming through, y'all, blowing, shooting up my grandma house. So, you know, by me growing up, I was mad already. You feel what I'm saying? So, shit. Yeah, that's how I... Through all this, who would you say your closest companion was? My mother, man, I love her to death. She, she, she stayed down <laughs> with a nigga through, you know, depression, you know, all that shit. When a nigga was ready to give up, kill herself, fucked up situations, you know what I'm saying? You know, when a nigga was ready to lose it, you feel me? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So much shit get built on a man, a man to lose it. You know what I'm saying? My mama was always there. Do you still suffer from depression? Because that's the topic I mean, you want to talk about. You know, you know, when I think about fucked up shit, sometimes I smoke a blunt, you know. It, you know, it's like a nigga that been in the army. If you've been in the army before, and I ain't, you know, I call this, I call living in Detroit a fucking army. Like niggas, nice. like niggas saying Chirac fucked up, you know, but come to Detroit, you know. Niggas will get on your ass. Cause see, niggas in Chirac keep the street, the shit in the streets. They do uh, rundowns on you and all. Niggas in Detroit will come in your house, break in your house, kill your mama, your daddy, your family, your kids, your wife, the fish, and a fish tank. Fresh. All that. Nah, it gets, yeah, it gets real up here. You know what I'm saying? So this shit like the war, you got to be militant, you know, and it, it will fuck up, you know, yeah, mentally it'll fuck up anybody. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even the softest nigga be fucked up in the mind. You feel me? Because he got picked on his whole life. You said something about family members that didn't want you around. Can you speak on any of that? Because, you know, I ain't going to lie. I, yeah, I might not yeah. hang out in the hood with you. <laughs> it, get, it gets deep. Like I said, man, when I told you, you know, niggas put money on my head. Who would want you in their house when you when motherfuckers breaking in your house? Try, you feel what I'm saying? Right. Don't nobody want you around. Shit, shit get deep, man. You know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. Mm 